Gonna pass it to the paint. Decides not to take it. Decides back to come on into the paint. Scores a two, makes it a two point game. Shot clock and game clock similar and just about the same as they look to score buckets here. You'll see the takeover badge, kind of like a glass protector, if you will, badge. And that lets that player know where the rebound is going to go anytime that shot goes up. We've got five seconds in the shot clock. Passing it back to the left corner. Nothing there. Tries to go cross court. That's not going to happen. One second. Shot goes up. Doesn't come down. That's going to be halftime. That's your player of the game right there as Serbia leads by 10 to Iceland. And that's going to be the player of the game with 23 points, 5 assists, shooting a phenomenal 81%. As you can see, Iceland not shooting so great, at least from the field goal percentage-wise, shooting a 48 compared to Serbia, 70-plus in the high 70s. Let's see if they can go ahead and close into the deficit with a strong start to the second half, to the third quarter here. Tricks to Jigs to the right side, shoots that one in. And Serbia goes and get knocks down the three. We're coming back the other way. And if you're joining us just now, we're in the second half of the game between Iceland and Serbia. If you're in the chat, if you can hear me, let me get a one. If you're rooting for Serbia, let me get a two. If you're rooting for Iceland, so I know where the fan base is as we've just started the second half in this game between Serbia and Iceland. Tries to dribble it to the right gash. Pass there. Passes it. That's an easy dunk. The white jerseys are going to be Iceland. The blue jerseys, the navy blue, is going to be Serbia. Just so you have it clear. Iceland dribbles it out to the left. Finds some space. Passes it out to the right hash. Tries to take a midi. Shot goes up. Not going to go down. Offensive rebound. Right corner. Pass. Shot. No good, and that's going to be a defensive board followed by a foul as Iceland is looking to close the gap and Serbia is looking to expand their lead and dominate in this third match in the group stage. Tries to take a shot, not there, passes it, green beans, and they continue to extend the lead. Anytime the shot goes up and you see that green splash, or if it says excellent, that means the player has released that shot in perfect timing, and that'll go out and knock down 10 out of 10 times at 100% success rate. So if you get a green spot as you shoot, that'll be good as that shot's slightly late. Get the offensive board. Easy two to knock it down by Serbia, extending their lead to 16 points here. Coming back the other way, you've got Iceland. Looking to make some moves. Dribbles it to the left. Going back to the top of the key. Speed boost. Paint doesn't get blocked. Slams that one in for two points. And just in case you don't know, this is the third edition of the FIBA Esports tournament here between all the federations that are involved. Over 60, which is the highest that FIBA Esports has ever had. And it's phenomenal to see players representing their country and that's a shot again there's that excellent release with the dance at the end but it's great to see players representing their nation and they're playing remotely of course to make sure for health purposes that everyone stays safe as we've got over a little two minutes shot goes up not gonna go down offensive rebound pass to the left corner passes back out goes to the top of the key dribbles it to the right gets the crab shoots doesn't go defensive rebound passes it all the way down and they're not able to convert just yet takes it back out 16 seconds left in the shot clock passes into the right corner shot goes up shot doesn't go down offensive board second chance knocking it down with the green there's that green release perfect timing gonna go down 10 out of 10 times as serbia is pulling away and they're not looking back in their rear view mirrors they're leading Iceland 53 to 33 a 20 point lead as we've got a minute 33 to go in the third quarter tries to alley it up and that's gonna go down for an easy two as Iceland is looking to fight back and make something happen here as we come closer to the end of the third quarter with a minute to go another easy two by Serbia 
the game is being played in current gen which is a more defensive game than the next gen and the reason that we're doing it on both current gen and next gen which would be ps4 and ps5 is to make sure that all countries or as many countries as possible are able to take place and take part in this phenomenal tournament that FIBA is hosting as that shot's going to be fouled and we've got two free throws coming right up. We've got eight conferences. So we've got more conferences than continents in this tournament and you'll love to see it. Definitely great to see so many countries involved and having their players represent their country and their nation. The best of the best battling it out for the tournament that'll be going on especially all weekend long passing it to the right corner takes the shot with the meter on and he greens it what a shot looked like he was fading away a little bit no problem none at all as he knocks down that shot triples it up top of the key grabs him is he going to take the shot decides not to passes it to the right hash right corner has got about eight seconds to make something happen resets the ball five Takes the midi, decides to alley it, and that's not going to go. 18 seconds left in the game, in the quarter. Passes this out to the right corner, brings it back out. Passes it to the left corner. Shoots. That's going to be a big contest. The defensive board with about five seconds to go. Passes it all the way. Oop coming. Oop not going down. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. As Serbia leads 57 to 38. We've got five minutes left to go in this game. Let's see if Iceland can go ahead and pull a miracle and come back. Definitely not something that'll be easy to do, but they've got the talent to do it as that shot's not going to go down. Two on one. Deep three coming. Not at all. Has the shot. Decides to patiently wait. Milks the clock a little bit. That ball's going to get stolen. And then immediately smart to foul them. And if you're in the chat, let me know. Let me know who you're rooting for. Let me get a one if you're for Serbia. Let me get a two if you're for Iceland. So we know the fan base that we've got in the chat. Coming back the other way. Takes that shot. Slightly late release. Gets the offensive board. Passes that right corner. Mini two. Green goes in for the easy two. We're now looking at about just a little over four minutes ago as Serbia's leading 59-38. That pass is going to be in from the inbound. Goes to the pain. Gets stopped. Passes right back out. Meter on. Three. Green from the top of the key to decrease the deficit to 18 points here as Iceland is looking to make moves with just under four minutes to go. That shot from Serbia. Not going to go. Gets the offensive board. What's he going to do? Looks to make a play. Brings it back out safely. Passes it. Wow, what a pass. Cut from the left corner. Goes down. Dunks it. And we're right back to a 20-point deficit. That pass was incredibly stolen there. Looked like a nice Randy Moss situation. Decides not to go and shoot that pass as it to the teammate. That shot's not going to go. Tip to himself. And that's another bucket from the offensive board. It's always nice when you can get offensive boards when you are in position. And you're able to knock them down. That's a midi. Shot goes up. And there's one thing. And that's these guys are doing a great job of knocking down the shots when they're open. Especially getting the green meter to go in their favor here. You can see the player there has got their rim badge. Or excuse me, their glass uh, cleaning badge on. That means anytime the shot goes up, they're going to be able to see where that rebound is going to be. Just in case that shot isn't going to be knocked on down. Off the left side inbound. Coming back up and immediately gets fouled as we've got just under three minutes left to go in this game. 14 seconds of the shot clock. 20-point deficit. Serbia sitting in the driver's seat looking comfortable. But let's hope they don't get too complacent because you don't want to have that situation. That ball's rattled out. Stolen. No one else ahead of him. And he misses it. He misses the dunk. They push it back out for the three. And that's going to go in. And I'll go ahead and take the threes over the twos any day of the week. As they're trying to cut into this deficit over here. Gets the ball across half court. Trying to milk the clock in their favor. And that's going to be a foul. You're going to see teams reaching a little bit here. Especially Iceland. 
try to get the ball loose because at this point you've got to create turnovers you've got to knock down the threes if you want to come back in this game with just a little over two minutes left top of the key makes a move gets fouled again not a bad strategy to get the ball out of their hands and get it stolen create turnovers as they're going to look to do it again comes back top of the key tries to crab them has a wrap shoots green beans easy three there to extend the lead right back to 20 points. It looks like that's where we're dancing. Iceland almost turned that ball over, but it's going to stay with him as 209 is left in the game with 23 left in the shot clock. As the midi decides not to take it, passes it out to the left hash. Coming back out, same thing. Can't decide what to do. Ball's loose. They've got it right back. Passes it, takes the shot. That's going to be contested, and that's going to be a defensive board. Launches it down the court, and they somehow get possession, throws it up for the layup, and comes back down with it. Not quite sure how they made that pass. Caught the ball. Defender wasn't able to tip it, and it goes in for the easy two. As we've got a minute 30 left in this game. Pump fakes from the right corner. Nothing there. Shoots with the meter on. Excellent release. Kind of get right back. Tell me if you've heard this before. To a 20 point lead. Goat Leon with 12 points. 5 and 8 from the field. 2 and 4 behind the arc. Gets the ball stolen here, though. We're going the other way. Slams it in. It's always fun. You get a nice plot. You get a nice turnover, and you're going the other way. Gets the easy bucket. Gets the easy two. Three hunting, slightly right, gets the pass right back to him, goes back in for the easy two, slightly late pass, no problem, gets the rebound, gets the two points, as we've got just a minute left to go in this game, oh, and that one's gonna get stolen, we're going the other way, three on two, what is he gonna do, tries to slam it in, cannot get it done, but he does get fouled, so that's two free throws coming up. As we close to end this game with about 51.2 left in the game. First one goes in. Second one. Not going to go in. We're going the other way. Defensive rebound. Trying to push it up the court. Bounce pass. Wow. What a bounce pass. Not sure if he meant to do it. Doesn't matter. It looked pretty. And they were able to convert for the easy two. Look for Iceland to make some sort of a press defense. Trying to create some turnovers. Trying to get some rebounds. Doesn't matter as Serbia goes ahead and knocks that one in. And this one might as well be over as Serbia's got a commanding lead over Iceland at this stage in the game. And that's going to be another turnover. And we're going to go back the other way. And that's going to be a foul. Serbia is going to go ahead and get two more free throws to extend their lead against Iceland. Not a problem at all as he goes ahead and knocks that one down. And once again, they try to inbound the ball, but Serbia's right there to get it stolen. Turnover created. Shot. That one's going to go in. Definitely thought they were going to have more of a contest there. And it looks like some of the players are leaving the game as Serbia has a commanding lead of 79-52. That one goes in for Iceland. Shout out to both teams for representing their nation. In this wonderful tournament hosted by FIBA. As they turn the ball over there with about 10 seconds to go. They might just look to shoot that one. And that's going to go in nice and easy. Seven seconds to go. As they get the inbound. Passing it through half court. And tries to go up for the layup. Doesn't go in. And that will be the ball game. 79-58. Serbia goes ahead and takes this one. To go ahead and close out the group stage of this format here. In the same group that we have with Serbia is Bosnia, Cyprus, and of course Iceland. Those four nations are battling out and only a few of them are going to make it to the playoff bracket. And look no further for your player of the game. That man right there. What a stat line. 36 points and 8 dimes. 8 assists. 